Now I did a post on my profile and I got um, some, some people were like, not sure if they understood or, or they got a, um, they got triggered maybe by what I said when uh, that's fine. It's okay. Uh, part of your success is a big part of your success is how you show up, right? If you show up a certain way versus someone else, right? You're going to, let's say you show up in a way where you're, um, you know, you're consistent, etc. You're showing up, you're, you're getting the help you need, whatever that looks like, right? For everyone, it's different. If you're showing up in a way where you see results versus someone else showing up in a way that they're not putting in what they need to, right? There's going to be a gap, a difference, right? So my post about uh, this and the conversation about building your, your environment here is extremely important. Your environment usually dictates the way you think. It's very straightforward. <coughs> if you surround yourself with producers, let's take music producers. You, if you take advice from music producers that think a certain way, you're naturally going to see those results in your artistry as well. So it's extremely important where you assess the situation you're in, the environment you're in, right? Who are the producers that I tend to take advice from? Who are the producers I take to? Uh, I, I, I tend to let's say um, just spend time with, chill. Maybe hop on Zoom chats. Maybe actually chill like live, right? Whatever it is, assess your situation. And I'm not saying delete people from your life. Just if you identify individuals that have loser talk mentality, if you identify individuals that are always complaining and pointing finger outwards in terms of issues that are happening in their career, examples of those might be, well, the market's saturated. That's why the music industry doesn't make sense. Or the thought processes where you can never make it in the music industry unless you're lucky. Or thought processes that are always blaming on factors outside of themselves, right? You want to find a way to just spend less time with around that thought process, right? Find people that encourage you, that motivate you, that raise you up, right? Because the way you're going to, the micro decisions you're going to take in your life and your production life are going to be highly influenced by the, the people you spend time around with. This applies to, this is not a music thing, right? It applies to everything you try to do in your life, but it's extremely important. What I'm explaining right now is way more important than learning how to use a compressor. Like again, if you want to make something out of music in your life versus just having it as a sideshow, right? What I'm telling you right now is way more important than learning how to use any key or a compressor or whatever, right? A new trick that's making your song sound like it's 0.5% better. Make your song sound 0.5% better. Who gives a shit? If you're surrounded by the negative thought processes, the big machine, right? The big production engine you're building or whatever you're building is not going to move forward to the level that you want it to if you're always surrounded by these low-grade thought processes in terms of how to spend your time, what to expect in the industry, how to thrive in the industry, etc., etc. right? So I did a post about this on my profile. And this is not to say that just delete people from your life, <clears throat> but if you feel like you have a friend that's a bit of a bit of a buzzkill, or always like pointing finger outwards, right, to issues that are happening to him, you're allowing yourself to always be in that vicinity and be um, kind of like influenced by that thought process, and you will see your decisions becoming poorer decisions through time by hanging out with people like that. So I'm not saying delete people from your life. Just if you recognize that, spend less time with them and focus your energy to spending time with people that actually are going to make a difference, that actually elevate you, that make you see like a much further frontier you have a hard time seeing or it scares you to see, right? So just kind of leaving this out there. If you guys have any questions, please reach out. If you guys know people that would benefit from being in this group and learning from my teachings and just overall conversations that are going on, don't uh, don't hold, hold yourself back. Invite them over. As long as they're serious about producing music, they're more than welcome to grow the community. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much. And I'll speak to you guys soon.